Mickey. Isn't he cute? Come on, sit up. And a doggy. Well, we've still got time to beat it before that train gets in. Maybe if we're not here to meet her, she'll go on back to Iowa, where she belongs. We can't do that, Mickey. She gets lost in a big town. She's fresh from the farm. She's going to be a lot of help. Well, we've got to make the best of it. After all, she's my cousin, and it's up to us to take care of her. Yeah. With 60 cents between us, no job, and half the picture studios closed for the summer. Mm. <coughs> oh, now you've done it. Look, I didn't have no idea I was so good. Where are you going to live? Hollywood 2806. Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought this was a taxi cab. That's quite all right. Permit my chauffeur to take you where you want to go. Oh, thank you ever so much. Of you. We won't need you anymore until tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Does this furniture look familiar? Sure does. Hey, that's our furniture and you take it right back. Oh, no, it ain't your furniture no more, lady. And we are taking it right back. Wait a minute. Can't we straighten this out? Sure. All you got to do is pay up the nine back payments. Oh, now listen. You're not really as mean as you pretend to be, are you? Oh, no. I just look this way to keep soft soap and things from trying to outtalk me. Hey, you put this right down. That's a big idea. Now, wait a minute. Oh, mister. What do you want? Could I speak to you for just a minute? Well, make it snappy. Oh, don't be like that. Let's talk this over. Moving us out and we're not at home. And we just moved in here. Well, tell him. Don't tell me. Oh, listen, big boy. We'll have some money soon. Work has been awfully scarce in moving pictures. That goes for moving furniture, too, lady. But our business is picking up now. It's okay, boy. What? We'll leave the furniture. Thank you. 
Hungry jam and real maple syrup, potatoes, and fresh cream. Say, where'd you promote all this food? I charged it down at the cash grocery. Fresh from the farm, huh? Yes, everything here. Don't ever cook with that window open. You'll have all the hungry actors in Hollywood here. My first breakfast in Hollywood. Gee, yeah, I'm so thrilled. A lot of people in Hollywood would be thrilled to have breakfast. Or any other meal. Mmm, I love sausages. Hey, what is this, a contest? Yeah, a hog calling contest. Oh, did you ever call hogs? Yeah. Speaking of hogs, we want to warn you about these Hollywood men. They're certainly fast workers. You sure said a mouthful, Jerry. Say, yes, there was a man from Hollywood, Mike Pullman. I'd only known him for two days and he proposed to me. Proposed what? Why, he wanted to marry me. Probably a fortune hunter looking for a soft birth. Believe me, I'd marry a man if he could buy me all the sausages I could eat. That's a lot of baloney. Play dead. Dave, what'd you tell this guy? Oh, I told him that I didn't want to get married. I would have lots of fun. You know, I've always wanted to go to one of these wild Hollywood parties. You know, the kind that you read about in magazines? That's the only place they have them, in magazines. Say, we better hurry if we want to take Helen through the studio this morning. Kindly tell Mr. Morgan's secretary that Miss Flynn and party would like a pass through the studio. Yes, surely. Oh, do you think they'll really let us in? Sure. Mr. Morgan's secretary is uh, Mickey's boyfriend. He'll let us in. Sorry, Miss Flynn, but he said no visitors allowed today. Why, the big sap, I told him. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. The big boy. Uh, That's the president of the whole company. That's James Morgan. Is everything set up on stage three? Yes, sir. Why, Jimmy! Uh, Why, Helen. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to call you. I'm awfully glad to see you. Would you like to go through the studio? Why, we'd love to. Why, this is Miss Flynn and my cousin, Miss Gray. How do you do? You'll find me a moment, won't you? Oh, Eddie. Helen, where in the world did you meet him? Why, on the train. He's the man who proposed to me. Proposed to you? Why, yes, I told you about it this morning. And you turned him down, you poor sap? Oh, what's the matter? I'll be all right. Just let me rest here for a week or two. Didn't you ever hear of relatives in the picture business? If you marry him, you get a good husband and we get a good contract. But I don't want to get married. I want to go to parties and have fun. If that's all that's stopping you, we'll take care of that. And how? Would you take me to a wild party and show me movie stars? Maybe if it could get Morgan in the family, we'd show you Wally Berry doing a toe dance. Are you ready, Helen? Yes. Come along. Well, goodbye, girls. See you later. All right, dear. Hello, Mickey. How are you? Good and mad. Well, what's the matter? Here I go and tell everybody the boss's secretary is my boyfriend and you won't even let us in the studio. Oh, don't be silly. I haven't been in my office all morning. Oh, Eddie, tell the boss we have his pullman for San Francisco tonight. I will, thanks. Okay. Morgan going out of town? Yeah. He won't be back tonight? Uh-uh. Then there'll be no one at his home? Well, I'll be there doing a little work for him. Why? Because we're throwing a wild party there tonight. Your what? Listen, Eddie. The big boss... Huddle. The big boss wants to marry Phyllis's cousin, and the sap turned him down because she wants to have fun. And we've got to give her the cure. But you can't pull a party at Morgan's house. Oh, listen, Eddie. It's only a make-believe one. We get a lot of people and make them up as famous stars. And we'll use the phony liquor bottles and fill them up with water. We'll have music and dancing and sausages. Hello, kids. Come right in. Uh, just leave your wraps over there. Everything under control? Perfect. Did you get any people who look like movie stars? Look like them. Say, I got all their doubles. Good. And get this. 
These are the throw when the fight stops. Won't it hurt? Hurt? Watch this. Their face, you see, their breakaway. Great. We'll give her so much excitement that she'll be glad to marry Morgan and settle down. Hello, folks. I thought you all know Mickey and Phyllis. And this is Helen French. What is it in English? <laughs> Would you like to meet some of the folks? Oh, I'd love to. All right, I'll introduce you. Change them for tomorrow, please. I can't go tonight. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. Well, how do you like the party? Oh, it's marvelous, but it's not nearly so wild as I thought it would be. Well, you see, it's a little early yet. Pardon me. May I have this dance? Why, I'd love Pardon it. Pardon me. May I have this dance? Oh, I'd love it. Why, I'd love it. Why, I'd Oh, now, wait a minute, boy. What, you can't do this. Who can't do what? Hey, that's my pal. That's your pal. Pardon me, may I have this dance? Hey, Helen, what are you doing here? Jimmy, this is terrible. Mr. 
Mr. Morgan. I can explain everything. You shut up. Officers, arrest all of them. And you're through at my studio. Helen, come with me, dear. I'll take you home. Come on. Say, is this the best patrol wagon you've got? No, but it'll do in a pinch. Come on, get in there. Get in. gathered here to join in the holy bonds of matrimony these four to join in the holy bonds of matrimony excuse me for a moment please what's the matter with that dumb baby how do i know I like to never got here. <laughs> I know, fresh from the farm. 